Top of the morning to you laddies! My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Norman Reedus and the Amazing Fetus Show. I hope you're all enjoying it so far. I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna test out these zip lines. I think that that's what these are. I got a bunch of PCCs, the stuff on my back, uh, at the top, so I could build my own zip lines. Ooh, that dude's bike is here. Wait, didn't I have a truck? Is this my truck right here? Don't tell me my truck is broken. Don't you dare tell me that. I will murder you. No, my truck is fine. Right? It's just a little rusty. Oh god, it's awful. Maybe we should build a shelter. Does anybody have a shelter around here? Excuse me. Gamers! Other gamers! Somebody else's car is right there. So. Ooh, there's a shelter right here! Uh. <laughs> Raiden! I don't think- can I park cars in these ones? I think I can! Let's uh, let's sleep over the time fall, huh? Raiden, thank you very much! You're a- you're a gamer, for sure! Um... Yeah, but you- we'll store my vehicle, yeah! I think if I just went into the private room, it would have done it with me. I think I'm just wasting time! Oh, I got septic juice today! Sam's got monster energy, but I've got septic juice. It's better. It ties me over better. Uh... I mean, I don't need to rest. I just need to put the car in and then take it back out again, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's fixed. Perfect. That's all I wanted. <clears throat> I actually did save time. Oh yeah, look at that sweet big bridge baby. I mean, you're my only bridge baby, BB. Um, also, I forgot to say it at the end of the last episode. When uh, yeah, 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 I like you very much. When the lady was, when Mama was trapped under the rubble and the stuff was falling down on her, you were probably wondering why she was able to drink. She said that time fall was happening, and you were wondering why she might be able to drink it. It said in the notes that apparently when Timefall hits the ground, it just turns into regular water. Uh, didn't I get some other interviews as well? There's a series of huge explosions. Well, not so much a series. They were simultaneous worldwide. The global comms infrastructure was shot to hell, but we salvaged what we could to try and make sense of what had happened. It didn't seem like much at the time, but it was a hell of a lot better than what we have now. Anyway, the government figured the whole thing was a terrorist attack at first. A global terrorist attack all at once. Uh, we'd been dealing with a lot of those back then, but it didn't take long to see that this was something else. The craters left by the blast were bizarre. There was no rubble, no dust even, which led the scientists to rule out meteor strikes. There was trace neutron radiation, alpha rays, but we knew it wasn't nukes either. Some of the particles we detected we'd never even seen before. Chiralium. Oh, so chiralium is just a brand new particle. Interesting. Although we didn't know, at, know it at the time, the more we studied them, the more our scientists came to the same conclusion. These were the results of annihilation events. It was right about that time that chiral clouds started to form, and after that, all communication with the outside world went down for good. <clears throat> That's interesting. Um, I mean, I figured that you were dealing with new particles because you're talking about dimensional travel and time travel and all that stuff, but I didn't know that chiralium itself was the particle that was discovered. Uh, no blue in the inverted rainbow. Yeah, it, it always shows inverted rainbows. And the first time it ever showed an inverted rainbow was in the trailer with Del Toro's character walking towards and then like tanks went overhead and airplanes, so... I'm guessing we're gonna see him in the World War era as well. We humans are complex multicellular organisms. 60 trillion cells inside each one of us, they say. <clears throat> How many of these cells need to die for us to consider a person dead? Are there any cells in particular? Yeah, when you die, do all your cells die at once? Because that's what aging is, is that your cells replicate themselves over and over again, and the, the reason that we age and we die is because it's not infinite. Some creatures do have the ability, some organisms on Earth even, have the ability to continuously regenerate their cells, seemingly ad infinitum. But we can't. Are there any cells in particular which determine whether a person is alive or dead? These questions are academic, of course. The exact point of death can be calculated using cell counts. On the other hand, 
No one can deny the existence of degenerative diseases that gradually destroy more and more cells, leaving their victim effectively half dead. And what about me? Most of my organs have been harvested from other people. They still work, of course, but could their original owner have been said to be alive? I really don't know. Also, that's why you're dead, man. Because you're basically a Frankenstein monster. I always knew you were, Del Toro. Incidentally, <clears throat> have you ever heard of a fun little experiment they once did with roundworms called C. elegans? These creatures are notable for glowing bright blue when exposed to UV light, but only when they die. It seems to be a reaction from the anthranilic acid within the organism, and it's known as death fluorescence. Yep, that's right. Blue is very much the color of death, it seems. Can it therefore really be a coincidence that there's no blue in an inverted rainbow? Time falls strengthens an area's connection to the beach. This is something to do with chiral particles becoming excited, I believe. In spaces connected to the beach, electromagnetic waves of the blue wavelengths can travel easily through the seam. But you, you said the seam capitalized, so the seam is something that you're talking about. Like, it's an actual, like, identified word for what you're talking about. Leaking out onto the beach. Some people know what's... You know, some people know that's where the blue from the inverted rainbow goes. Who knows? The fact that blue has a strong connection to death, though, that much just seems pretty inarguable. Huh. Um, oh wait, where am I going? I need to go over here. No, that's Lake Not City. That's the end goal. Here? Ooh, waterfall basin, hell yeah! Oh, I really should use the zip lines then, shouldn't I? You're, you're basically telling me to use the zip lines. I'll put this back in storage. Sorry, we're off to a very slow start at the beginning of this episode. I mean, the game's slow anyway, but I always feel like I should be making more and more progress. Because I'm like, I don't want to be wasting your time. But I figure if you're here to watch this series by now, if you're here watching these episodes, chances are that you're not too worried about things being slow because the whole game is basically this. In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. Alright, they said that I can't use, um, floaters and vehicles on these. How do I use it? Use it, plane. Whoa! Zip to the other end. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah! God damn, this is- No, oh, the only way to fly, baby! Is there another one? <laughs> oh man, there's no more? Damn it. That's awesome though! Hell yeah! I wonder what the distance you can get on them is. Like how far apart do they have to be? I should put one down here. Because people are going to do this- yeah, 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 yeah. You're traveling a little hard there, Sam. Some people are going to use that zip line to get down here for the mission. And then they might not have another zip line to get back up, so I'm gonna build one for you gamers. I mean, timefall shelters are cool and all, but again, I don't really see the merit in them. Because it feels like. Oh, I probably can't put one here, right? Ooh. It feels like there's no point to time fall shelters because I'm just in and out of time fall so frequently anyway. Unless you have a a thing that really needs to be fixed. Yes. Okay, I I passed over it, sorry. Yes. Wait, can I build it in here? I want to build it in a place that allows me to maybe potentially build one down there, too. So it needs to have a line of sight. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Build that bad boy! Okay. I'm gonna help you gamers! It ha when I logged into the game today, though, it said that a bunch of people had used my stuff and given me likes for it. That's awesome. It feels so good to be appreciated and valued. Um... Oh, I will grab the rope more than I will grab that ladder. I'm gonna give you a million billion likes. 
Nobody has sent me any pictures yet though of you using any of my stuff in the game. But it will be cool if somebody comes across something that says Jash, Jack dash septic dash I. Not just Jack septic I, it has to be separated out. Because some ninkin dick stole my name on PlayStation. Why would you do that? The amount of times us YouTubers or influencers or whatever need to have our own pages for things and people have already like stolen the name. Ooh, another one. Yes. I'm gonna give you likes too! This one's for you. <laughs> this one is definitely for Thanks you. For the help. I have a five second window on my likes. Mainly because I'm a pretty big deal in this game. I don't know if you've heard of me, I'm called Legend. Legendary Carrier of Things. That's my full title. <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited I am to put a zip line at the bottom of this cliff. <laughs> it's gonna be dope! Alright. All the way down, all the way down. Oh, perfection is thy name. Footwear almost ruined. No, it's not. It's just under half. Get your head out of your dick. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, you're welcome, everybody! I just saved the game! Alright. It's... that's not it. God, that waterfall is insane! Ah! Here it is! Rare mineral resources. Oh man, I have to get across this? That's- <laughs> Somebody peed here! Oh yeah! A clip came out! This is the thing, this is the beauty of when the game is actually finally out now, because people are doing all this wacky stuff. Somebody was escaping from BTs and shaking them off, and then they turned around and peed on them, and then the BTs disappeared. Which, now that I think about it, I'm like, of course! Because, my pee and my fluids and my liquids and my blood and everything is a BT deterrent. So of course it would get rid of them. It's epic! Okay, we need to scan all the things. Do I have to make another zipline across? Do I have to help more people? Because I can do that. I am a very nice, polite person. Oh, these watchtowers are actually really fucking useful. I thought they were pointless the first time I went into it. I was like, why would I just want to see what I already see? <sighs> Alright, how- do I have to go all the way around? That really seems like a pain in the ass. Get across and put a zipline over there. Oh boy, that is all red. Can I even go around? Go across the top? Aw, oh, man! So he didn't help! My ziplines now are fucking useless. Maybe that's why people don't have ziplines here. Please like them anyway. I promise I meant well. I wonder what happens if you upgrade them. Can you go faster? Alright, fine. I'll go this way then. Boo! Boo! Video game boo! Give me this. Wait, I'm only carrying 79 kilos? Looks like I'm calf carrying half Ireland on me. <laughs> oh, somebody crashed! <laughs> oh, that's funny! <laughs> oh no! You brought your car down here when you probably shouldn't have brought your car down here, huh? Oh, it's only gonna get harder, Sam. The more I see you naked in the shower, the harder it gets. <laughs> oh. I do like the social aspect of the game. Oh, crap rope. Like, seeing people's structures and everything. Like, it's so awesome to see the little stories that are happening. The little stories that are happening within the game. Like, coming along here and seeing somebody has crashed. Or that time when I when I fell off the ladder, 
And then the person had another ladder built getting up and it's like, you fell off your own ladder, didn't you? Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad news, bears. I don't have a ladder, do I? Shit. Oh, I should not be here. Let's go up over this way. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. No, God. This is so nerve-wracking. Oh, I'm like a mountain goat. <laughs> now I need to get a way back down. <laughs> I climbed a rope when I shouldn't have. Ah, foolish. Oh, he's falling on his own. Okay, let's get down to business. BB. BB, it's fine. BB, it's fine. BB, it's fine. Relax. Relax. There. Shush, shush. Shush. Shush, BB. It's fine. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got you. There you go. Okay. Shh. Shush, little one. Shush. Shush. There you go. That little BB. There you go. Seriously, can you shut the fuck up? Thank you! Man, I can't stop thinking about the story of this game either. I'm- I'm legitimately really enjoying this game. It's got me hooked. There's something about it. On paper, I really should not like this game. Because of the type of gameplay that's in it. Like, if you told me it's just walking from A to B and delivering things, I'd be like, okay, why would that be fun? But there's just something about it. It's so satisfying to play. And also, the story is just, it's super intriguing. I was thinking last night about how the stuff about the still mothers. I, I was re- because my, my episodes start going up and I was kind of re-watching some of them while I was editing it. And I was talking about how the still mother is in something not city. And when you put BB in the private room, you're attaching it up to the still mother to kind of keep him quiet and keep him rested and calm him down. So I was thinking, what if the still mother, I don't know if there's like one still mother that has like a womb for all of them, but I am curious if Mass Mickelson's Lisa has got to do with this BB. And I'm wondering if the still mothers are dead, but somehow kind of like kept preserved. Okay, think about it this way. What if the still mothers are dead, but are stranded in the beach? Still mother- the, the mothers of the BBs are dead in the beach, so they're not in the afterlife fully, they're on the beach, stranded. Death Stranding. And because they're dead, they have an umbilical cord link to the BBs that are still alive in this plane of existence. And that's why the BBs are able to detect beach things because the mothers are technically in the afterlife and they have that connection. Just like Mama with her, uh, BT. With her BT baby. That would be... morally very... weird? Very bad, very gross. Also, these ladders are amazing, thank you. This one's for you. This one's for you, A2C Panic! Oh god, this is all red. I did not fucking realize. I did not realize. No! Oh, fuck. I actually died. I actually died and now I'm back here for the first time in forever. I haven't done this since the very start of the game. There's- is this my buddy here? Yeah? You may encounter souls of other players in the sea. Oh, this is the seam! Touching them re strengthens your connection, enabling you to share more items facilities. Oh! That- did that work? 
weird! I'm exactly in... Oh, super weird! That's so cool! I'll touch you. I'm not the only one to have died in the waterfall. I'm kind of glad I died now, because I didn't know that this is how this worked. Okay, that's not an actual player. So even in death, you can connect to them. That's awesome. Oh wait, I don't even have to find my body. All I have to do is hold square to repatriate. So bizarre! <laughs> You're good to go, little buddy! <laughs> Did I lose all my gear, though? Eh! Grossness! My gear's here. Oh wait, I picked up their dropped cargo! Oh fuck, but what about that? My stuff has just gone over the edge of the waterfall. Are you kidding me? Your ladders were nothing but lies! How am I supposed to do it now? Can I redeploy the cargo? God damn it. I do have my uh... Do we have the sticky gun? I don't think I have it equipped. Cargo carried for this order will return to where it was when you undertook the order. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. So that means one of them should be down there, yeah. I'll come back that way anyway. And then the rest of it should all be over there. What did I lose? My hematic grenades, container repair spray, a PCC... Fuck, man. God, this waterfall sucks! I mean... That's the thing! That's what can happen! But now that I touched their... souls in the seam... It gave me their lost cargo when they died? That's kind of cool. Does that mean if... If you touch my body now there, in the seam... You can get my PCC and my hematic grenades and that stuff. That'd be cool. Thank you very much for your bridge. This one's for you. Today's a good day. Thirty-one thousand likes. I hope someday my stuff can have that many likes. Oh, also, you might be wondering what necklace I'm wearing. I'm wearing the um, the Cupid. You did this. That was your fault. <laughs> BB, 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 stop, stop. But yeah, I got a, I got the Cupid from the case that Sony sent me. Again, thank you, Sony, for that. It was absolutely incredible. And thank you guys for helping out in that regard. The, the kind of little Easter egg hunt that we did and decoding the ciphers and everything. It was super fun. But this was in the case, so I thought I'd wear it for the for the actual game. It's it's a really cool necklace. It's just a bit bulky. And it's very loud when I walk around. <clears throat> okay, I need to change my boots. Uh bridge boots here. Put out footwear. Cool. Oh wait, no, they're damaged. Oh no, they're not. Those are the other ones. All right, here we go. Up we go. Man, I'm so bad about bringing ladders and stuff with me. Okay, yeah, I know about lost cargo. It's all the way down there now. I'll get it again. If I can go- Oh, I lost my PCC! That means I can't put up a fucking thingy! Do I have another PCC? 
Please tell me you have another PCC. Yeah, I can put up another zip line. That was the whole point. It is cool to see modern games do a different take on death in video games. It gets kind of boring. Oh, pick, no, pick it up. It gets kind of boring every time when death is just like, oh, you died, retry the level. For a game. Whoa, look at this one! That's a big one. Sure was. For a game like this, that doesn't make sense. And I'd imagine his. I'd imagine Kojima's desire to change death mechanics is what kind of started it. The first game that I really noticed that changed death mechanics was like Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Because when you. Death in that game does have consequence, but it also doesn't. So, like, dying in the game means a lot because it's harder to do the next section of the game and you have to go back and get your stuff if you really wanted. But also you can kind of just keep going. And the whole idea of the levels in that game is that even when you rest, it resets anyway. So it's not like dying makes you restart the level because just resting and upgrading your stuff and everything resets the level too. So that was the first time where I was like, oh man. It kind of has to break your conception of dying in a video game. I kind of feel stupid for dying in this. So I'm like, it's not a hard game, it's an incredibly easy video game. I died anyway. This one's for you. Thanks for the help. Where was the rest of that gear? Where was the rest of the containers? Are they down lower? There we go. Anybody have a climbing anchor here? Okay, there it is. It would also be very helpful to have a watchtower here. But that aspect of people helping each other in the game is my favorite aspect of the game so far. Well, the story and the cutscenes and everything is cool. Kojima is a fucking master at cinematography. Whatever about his gameplay mechanics and whatever about if his stories are good or not. But you can't deny that his his artistic eye for things is really good. Okay, I'm gonna try to get down this. BB's gonna be upset. No, oh, no, he's not. Because that cutscene, my favorite cutscene and my favorite trailer are, well, they're one and the same. That cutscene at the start of the game where the void out happened, where we saw the giant BT and it swallowed the dude and exploded. That was my favorite trailer that they released for the game, and that was the one where all the other trailers I really, really liked. And I was super into it. It was super bizarre, weird, quirky, vague, mysterious, all this stuff that I absolutely adore in storytelling. I love fucking weird, quirky, vague, just visually striking stuff. And that always stood out to me, and then that trailer came out and I was like, okay, I am all in on this game. It was fucking phenomenal. And so now seeing people's reactions, I was watching some Let's Plays and everything, seeing people's reactions to that cutscene, and it's just, it's like goosebumps. It was exactly like when I watched it for the first time, and even watching it in the game, just when that dude goes to shoot himself, I take my hands off the wheel again. When that go dude goes to shoot himself, and then he misses, and then he gets held upside down, and the kind of lullaby music kicks in. Oh, chills. It's phenomenal. And then you see the giant BT and the super cool sounds kick in where it's like, woo! It's like a siren or a whale sounding. It's fucking dope. It's the kind of shit I want to make. It's the kind of shit I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make something someday that's that kind of stuff. I have a lot of, like, ideas in me. A lot of... A lot of stuff that I want to put into a project somehow. I have a lot of, like sounds and visual imagery and story and plot and all that kind of stuff that I'm just trying to figure out how I work it into a conceivable manner. That's cool. I want to make something super cool like this someday. Because I'm... If any of you have been watching me for any length of time, you know that I'm like really into 
I'm really into games in general. Oh, don't fall off. And story and mechanics and how stuff is made and just trying to make cool shit. So I want to do something like that myself someday. Yeah, sorry, BB. I figured that one would hurt you. Well, maybe I should just fall down the cliff and not soothe him just yet, because this is going to happen again. Yeah, I'll, I'll go a little further. Oh god. Do I have a climbing anchor? God, I'm so underprepared! Will I survive that? I will have to go this way. Ooh! Okay! And he just took the fucking wheel from me. The momentum just carried him off the edge and I didn't have a choice. Okay, BB, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shush, shush. Shush, shush. There you go. Shush, 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 shush. Oh, tiny baby. Oh. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. No need to freak out. I'm gonna keep doing it until he's happy, because his stress level is actually quite high right now. No, not that much, Sam! He's a baby, not a fucking can of spray paint! I'm just doing this. Does it notice now how the controller matches the BB unit? That's so cool. <laughs> oh, cute little boy. Ooh, septic juice. Alright. This is only two of them, though. Oh, there's one right there as well, and then the last one's over there. Okay. This is taking way longer than it should have. I went about it in a foolish way. Always plan out your routes. It's the one thing that the game is all about, and I'm just not doing it. Sorry, Sam. Kind of smashed your face off a wall there. Okay. Yeah, this time fall. Really just doesn't let up, does it? Ooh! A memory chip. Ah. Yeah, you can hide that out in here. I like that. I hope they add more messages. How did I put down a message again? Yeah. Um, I want to put down... <laughs> Good work, BB. <laughs> uh, likers get liked. I'll put a P-ban here. You can come in here and rest, but you're not allowed to pee. What is this for? I don't know what these ones are. I know it says that I can rest, but I think you can just do that anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna put my zip line down on the beach and really help out gamers. Gamers help gamers! Oh, perfect. I was gonna have to re-kajigger my, my gear for a second. Ah, oh, I missed a chiral crystal back there. So I wonder why a BT then was trying to get Mama's baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Because I would have thought that, okay, if a bridge baby is connected to a mother in the, in the beach, then maybe they're trying to get the baby back then, but apparently Mama is... The Mama? Wait, there was another one up there? Oh, hell yeah, gamer. I am the bridge that connects the world! This is so nice. This is a- oh, man. The game's really picking up now. It's such a shame that- well, I mean, the game has to teach you the mechanics and how harsh the world is, but it takes so long to, like, to, like, get going. Oh, man, that's so cool. Woohoo! Fuck you, water! Suck! I can jump off of it at any time as well. 
Nice! Super handy! Oh! Is the time fall going away? Seems like it's clearing up. And now I can use this to get back up. I'm gonna put- I saw your free to use sign there. I'm gonna put a free to use sign right next to this. I find it hard to believe that I'm the only one who has a zip line here. And I'm also curious, is it based on servers? Is there like a million servers for this game and we're just on a specific one here so I only see the people who are on this server's equipment? Because otherwise there'd just be a million billion different versions of different things all together. Like ten bridges all next to each other. The whole world would be littered with stuff. Uh... What else could I put here? <laughs> Do not use. Zipline. I mean, yeah. Where was it? Yeah, free to use. You guys are free to use this if you want. Million likes on my thing. Get me to the highest likes thing in Death Stranding, maybe? <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Get it, Sam! Yeah. Fuck yeah, Sam! You don't get a lot to, uh, enjoy in this world. So enjoy every tiny second of it. Is my car not here anymore? Did I put my car in the garage? Can't remember. Hi, Fragile. Why are you here? Um, I can recycle some things. Hmm, not a lot. Okay, I guess I'm recycling just around. Nah, there's no point then. I have to watch an animation and I don't want to. <laughs> okay, garage. Yeah, my truck is in here. Nice one, gamers! Now we have to head all the way back... ...to... ...Lake Knot City? Is that the one that's all the way back at the start? It's fucking miles away as well. Eh. Oh, 1.3? Thought it was further away than that. Have people built up the roads? That's what I want to know. There's auto pavers around, but... Nothing connected to them. Okay. Okay, we won't go that way. Reverse! I'll go this way. I ain't messing with no beach things! What is this? 50 metal. I would like that, but I don't want to get out. Oh, hot hands! Uh oh. Well, seems like it's happening anyway. Yeah, I feel you. Okay, I can't. Oh god. Alright, before I get in some serious trouble in here, alrighty, I need to have a game plan. Alright, we're only going here, I thought I had to go the entire way. Uh, okay. So if I just keep going down here, over the mountain, and down that way, it should be fine. I'll take a wide berth around this. Because when I'm on the bike, at least I can scan and I can see where the Audra deck is looking for them. But with the car, I can't. So, getting connected to the- Oh god! Oh shit. God damn it. God damn it.
It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just get away from them for now. Come on, Sam, for fuck's sake. Wait, I want to I want to test this. I'm peeing. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> you can just pee your troubles away. Okay, a little bit faster, Sam. You're normally faster at picking things up. I don't know why you're not now. Okay, cool. It's like, I don't want to run into a beach thing. Immediately drives head first into one. Not even, like, close to one, just directly into its face. Okay, just fucking sprint out of here. Use your car sprint! I think we're out of it now. Oh my god! That- oh, that was epic! I'm a fucking rally driver now. That could have been disastrous. Hello? As a reminder, Sam, when carrying deadly weapons, it's absolutely essential that you exercise restraint. I doubt I need to say it, but killing is off the table. More corpses means more PTs and potentially more void outs. If you kill anyone, you'll be putting not only yourself, but countless other people at risk. Yeah, so now that I have actual guns... Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I was like, why am I... What did I lose? It's the stuff from the waterfall. <laughs> Aww. Are you fucking kidding me? The car can jump?! Come on, come on, Bessie. <laughs> no, we're fucking stuck. <laughs> it just floats there. I thought the game crashed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Fuck. I can get it. I can do it. I can get out. No. No, I'm even more stuck. Well. <laughs> Go fucking damn it. Son of a bitch! Well, why do you want to use my, uh... Why do you, you want to use that, uh, excellent car I just put down, then go for it. Thanks for the help. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, I, I'm really curious. I kind of want to actually kill one of the mules. Like, use a lethal weapon on him. To see if that would actually make a void out happen. Because it said at the start, if a person dies, you have to bring them to an incinerator or they will create a void out. And I'm curious if you can just make those happen. Could I just void this entire area? Because I have assault rifles now. I don't want that. It's too much. 287,000 likes. Yeah, this is a good one. Da -la 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 -la. Copyrighted music. Bye bye. This is a, a really good bridge. This is one that's going to be used by everybody. <clears throat> is this my generator? Didn't I put a generator here somewhere? 283 likes on my generator. Thanks, gamers. You're making this old gamer proud. You're making this old boomer happy. Oh, I only have to go here. I kind of want to take the road back to the very beginning because I want to see if my generator on the road is doing better. So I, that was the one that I was really proud of. My zip lines are going to get a lot of likes. I know it for surezies. Hello. Yeah. I know. I'm making the fucking delivery. Is this not where I'm supposed to go then? 
thought this was where I had to go to deliver the rare minerals. Okay, what level am I now? Still 125? Whoa! You've been awarded the title of Master Mover! Almost everyone is ready to place their faith in you. Master Mover, y'all. Look at that star that's coming up. Your sync level with other players has increased by 10%. You can now make more strand contracts. 10? You can now make more cooperation requests. The period for which you can send likes has been increased to 6 seconds. I am amazing. Okay. Uh, building materials delivery way station north of Mountain Nut City. Okay, 80 kilos though, holy crap. Can I just make zip lines? Oh, this is the area with the... Okay, I'm gonna make a ladder. I'm gonna make a climbing anchor, because these are things that I'm desperately missing all the time. I'll make two PCCs. I can't make one, I don't have the materials. Somebody did leave a car here though, and I can just check the garage to see if somebody else is... No, that doesn't help. I need a truck. Yep. Yep. Why not? Yep. Yep, this is all a disaster, so why not? Yep. What am I not carrying? Attach that to... suit? Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna have to do this for now. Hopefully this truck is still here and it didn't just sink out of existence. Yes. Great laziness! Lazy no more. I am gonna like your truck because it's very fucking helpful. There you go. Uh, alright, so... All of this can go in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Load in the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice. It's so good to get that weight off your back every time. Oh yeah, I'm going up into the mountain now. That's awesome. Suddenly this thing just pings out of existence. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. And all of my materials just disappear. I don't think that can actually happen, but... Man, that's cool! It really feels like you're rebuilding the country together. D-Monster used your generator. Ari, Axe, Ali, A used your generator. That's fun. It feels good to know that you're helping. Like, the game really starts coming into its own here. Um, where is Mountain Town, USA? Ooh, all the way over there. Okay. Wait, where was I supposed to deliver the other things? Oh, shit. I thought I had to get the rare minerals and bring them to here. Oh man, I was right next to where I needed to deliver them. I just needed to bring them to Mama's lab. I'm such an idiot. Oh man. Okay, I'll bring these back then. I won't subject you guys to watching it all again though. Okay, it wasn't delivering to Mama. It was delivering to this area down where we got teleported to World War One. <laughs> such a weird fucking sentence. It's like, yeah, I started off the video game by uh, bringing my dead president mom to an incinerator and burning her, and then I I took my uh, my little pod baby and we went around delivering packages to people. But then I got sent back to World War One, which kind of slowed me down a small bit. <laughs> it's a fucking weird game. I love it. Okay, get rid of all this. Nice. Give me those. Give me those likes. I might not get as awesome for this one because you know I took a long time and I was a bit of a dum dum. I was a bit of a smooth, small, stinky brain. A Is it good? Whoa. It's like fresh from the printer or something. <laughs> what can I say? I do have leg ends. It means legend. It's awesome! Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. Ooh, a defensive bike. What will that do? 
Sam, with the help of the Cairo network, we've recovered experimental data which should provide a boost to our ongoing research and development initiatives. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, we've already made one breakthrough that can be applied to thematic Ooh. rounds. Anti-BT ammunition nice. that utilizes the unique properties of your own blood. However, it's important to remember that with each yeah, yeah, yeah. The situation, you may be better. Further details can be found. Nice. So the regular guns now, like assault rifles and stuff, can ooh, a defensive truck can shoot hematic rounds, so I can shoot my own blood. I'm going to give everybody hepatitis. Number of bots can be used simultaneously, increased to two. Yes, I can do even extras. I'm so- I'm such a good little delivery boy! Good work. I'm good such work. a good Amazon Prime. Uh, take on orders. Standard deliveries for bots. 204 kilos? Yeah, you can- you can take that, Mr. Bot Man. <laughs> 144 kilos? Yeah, you can- It's art! I'm bringing art to a lady! It's 144 kilos? Wait, we'll both come up at the same time? No, it's just showing one, I think. On you go, little bud. Okay, sweet. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, orders for Sam. Yeah, I have to go back that way anyway. Might as well take it. Fragile cargo, keep flat. What is it? What am I delivering? Oh man, I'm delivering pizza again. <laughs> Fine, I'll be a fucking pizza delivery guy. This is a main mission for the game. My God! That firearm can be loaded. I know. With a dot sight as well. Cool. Improve your aim. Awesome. Also, he he told me that already. You don't need to tell me that. Wait. So if I put the no, I have one outside. No, thank you. No, no, no. I don't want any. I forgot, I can't press circle to back out of this, it just goes back to the previous menu. I have to hold X to get past it. You'd think after like 16 hours of the game, I'd be better at it. Pizza should always be kept flat. I know. As in level with the ground. Otherwise, I... you're liable to make a huge mess. I know. You fucking patronize me, Guillermo del Toro. I know how to deliver a pizza. I'm the best goddamn delivery man that this game has ever seen. Also, I wonder if I just get into the car, will it be fine? I have a whole hour to do it. This is what your pizza guy looks like in Domino's when you're like, a delivery in 20 minutes, he's like, Let's fucking go! Come on, get into the fucking car. I hate when games use a button for two different things like that. I mean, it's a modern game, so it... Yeah, it's fine. It's a modern game, so there's a lot of buttons to take into consideration, but it's like, have it be something that doesn't make you do an animation to swing or something. You know? Have it be like R1 nearby. All R1 does is scan. Okay, get a little bit of juice off that. And we're good to go again. And then go down here and get a little juice off this. Thank you, Jack Frost. <gasps> Your name is my name! Today's a good day. Wait, somebody responded! This one's for you. Thanks for the help. Hello? Whoa. That's the first time that's happened. And I did it by accident. I'll come back and find him later. Wait. What? Hello. I don't know where he is. I wonder if it's just other players' stuff interacting with mine. I'm going out over the top of this. I, I realized a better route back is to go back this way and then go down along the shore where the road actually is. Oh god, will this work? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Pizza delivery! Beep beep coming through! Oh, I might have fucked myself. Oh no, we're fine. 
<laughs> oh, we're not fine. This is not fine. No, 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 no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. No! Come on. Come on. Here you go. Oh my god, this is a fucking disaster. Go, go. No, why do you keep turning left again? Yeah, get that ass moving. Come on, please. Please. Do it for Jack. Do it for the septic man. God, this is fucking obnoxious. When trying to go forward, he just like turns to the left again. So it's like forcing me to get stuck. It's fucking annoying. It's like the game keeps trying to stick me in this one position. Fuck! I have so much gear. I can't bring it all on my on my foot. Fuck it. Oh, I'll go this way. This is much better. Yes! Yes! Oh, you sweet boy. Okay, I'm a little nervous to bring you backwards again. Go. Go. Get out of it. Get out of it. You can do it. What are you- what are you getting stuck in? There's like a fucking tiny lip that you're getting stuck in. But for some reason, it doesn't let you drive at the angle that you're steering! Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> That's how I got out of it? The most obtuse way possible? <laughs> On the road again! That's amazing. I'm so fucking happy. I mean, that shit shouldn't have happened in the first place. There should be like barriers around it or something to not allow your trucks to go in there. Whatever, I'm out. Is this my generator? Now that I have to come- Wait, I am coming all the way- oh, I'm not coming all the way back here. Oh shit! Did I overshoot where I'm supposed to go? I did. Okay, I want to see what my site or my generator's at. 1400 likes! <laughs> Yay! I knew it! I knew if I upgraded to level 3, it would do well here. Oh, hey look, other porters. Hey dudes! Gotcha. Gotcha. Hi! Uh, right, where was I supposed to go? Oh, right there. Well, I'm glad I came all the way back here anyway. I really wanted to know what my sign got to. That makes me happy. Or my generator. <laughs> Such a dumb thing. But it really makes me happy. But this is what I'm saying. It's like, now I feel better because I have more likes on that one. But another one that I don't have any likes on, I'm like, oh man, I did a bad job. Makes you feel sad. But yes, connecting people, saving America, one like at a time. Did you know you can save the Jacksepticeye YouTube channel one like at a time as well? If I don't have more likes than other people, then does my channel even exist? Yay, that one has 45 likes! My generators are popping off, guys. I'm a pretty big deal in the Death Stranding universe. <laughs> oh. Okay, I have your pizza. Apparently it's only been like 10 minutes. It's about 12 minutes now. And I had an hour to do this. So... I better get like a million likes. I need my likes. I need my fix. How mules need their cargo, I need my likes. Who am I delivering it to? Who was here again? <laughs> Here's your pizza. The dominoes of the future! Delivering cargo. <laughs> Delivering it's not Death Stranding, it's DiGiorno. There's no one here, it's a fucking robot. You're damn right is awesome. I worked my ass off on that one. I almost got my car stuck. I'm a great mover. Pa press on past this milestone and endeavor to become a celebrated transporter. You have reached delivery time grade 10. You will now tire less easily. Sick. Thank you for your continued support. It's just a freaking robot that's here. You're welcome. All right, now I have to head to Mountain Knot. That might be a hard one to get to in a car. Where is it? 1.5 kilometers away. This terrain is not that hard on the car. Careful. Careful. Ah, 
What did I just say? Careful. See the way it says SDT on the top of my car? That stands for sexy dad time. Leon Kennedy had real proud dad. Mr. Skennedy himself. Norman Reedus is sexy dad time. Yay, yay, yay. Or not. Whoa, why are you turning left? You might be looking at this sometimes and wondering, Jack, what the fuck are you doing? Honestly? The car is turning on its own. I'm just holding, like, backwards. It's because the terrain is all over the place, so the game can't adhere to it. Like this, I can't turn back that direction because the car is turning that way on its own all the time. All right, I'll go down. Wait, hold on. Where the hell is this? All righty then. I need to go around. Like because the game has physics and momentum and all that shit, it's it's trying to pull me away from the slope. I mean, it makes sense, but. I don't think it translates well to video. Like, I'm trying to turn right as hard as I can right now. I'm basically trying to explain why it looks like I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> it's not me, it's the game, I swear! There's lag! My ping is too high! Sam's not listening to me! Oh no, I ruined the resin. Whatever are we gonna do, guys? I also like... That stuff is displayed with lighting. Like, the, the battery on the car is blue now. To display that it's, it's like healthy. Wait. Where the fuck? Oh. Oh. All the way over there. And then it turns yellow when it's starting to run out. It's the same with your health. On your cufflink, it's blue when you're at full health, and then it starts deteriorating. If you go back and watch the first episode, you can see the guy who starts stabbing himself when he's getting lifted by the giant BT. When he starts stabbing himself, his thing turns from, like, blue to yellow to red to show that he's, like, losing health. That he's draining his own blood. Ooh, ceramics are useful. Ceramics and metals are the most useful because they make the, the roads. I have enough Kyrelium crystals. Ooh, lots of stuff over here. Is this where I'm going? Oh no, I'm going into the mountain. Shit. Okay. I was- I was paused because the game has to do this thing every time. It has to flip up your hood and then this thing has to come out and do his blah 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 blah, you know? You get it. You've been watching the series. Scan! Ooh, look at all the stuff in there. I want that. Take it slowly though. Uh, that's real bad. Um, I have no hematic grenades. Shit. I don't have any anti-BT stuff. I'll use a bowler gun on it though. I was gonna take out a PCC. And build a generator here. Wait, I can hold down to... Ah, oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, I wanted to bring my... I wanted to bring my car down here, though. Okay, I'm gonna tangle you up again. Oh, wait, I can use hematic... Uh, rounds in my thing now. Oh, wrong thing. Right? Construction. 
Oh, do I have to make a special hematic round assault rifle? It doesn't just go into my regular one? Hmm. Oh my god, all these fucking animation sequences! I'm gonna grab all these items. This is a risky venture. Oh, it's you. Okay. Did I not have hematic grenades? Oh, no, I lost them in the waterfall. Right. Well, then they can put the ceramics and the metals floating carrier in the truck. And then it'll make it easier to get over here and grab all this stuff. Nope, wrong one. Oh, this is so not worth it, is it? <laughs> You making so much noise. Whoa, hi. Oh, I forgot to share my memory chip. Do you think if I pee on him, he'll go away? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, come on. Are you serious? Oh, that's a fucking big boy! That was a big BT! Get off me! Can I climb? Get off me! Sons of bitches. Okay, hopefully there's none in here. Oh, that's a lot of ceramic over there. Oh, that's very nice. I should have brought my floaty carrier with me. Damn it! Such an idiot! All the BTs aren't that big, are they? Shit, my truck got damaged. This is a fucking time fall. Oh shit, I can't carry it. I can carry it in my hand. This is tricky. Just take your time there, Sammy boy. You can do this. I've done it a million times before. It's not that hard. Pick up those crystals. I like my little pinwheel that I got in my backpack now. Okay. It might be worthwhile to just take care of this guy, and then I think I have a clear shot. They're so creepy looking. Okay, go Sam. Go Sam. Attaboy, he's still tangled, ooh. Tiny bit of respite. <laughs> uh, cool. Wait, what about the one in your hand? It's okay, it still goes in. Now let's back it up. Replenish our battery here. Where am I going? Okay, to the right. Let's just... Let's just go all the way around all of this. 
There's more ceramic there, but I think I have fucking plenty. I'm, I'm gonna try and not get greedy. Whoa. Whoa. What's with all the floating rocks? Wait, is this... Oh, this is where a void out happened. That's so awesome! I didn't see that before! That's so cool, man. Oh, my truck is in bad shape. So this isn't water, it's tar? Creepy. Can the time fall stop now? That'd be real nice. That was a big win, gamers! That was an epic one! Is there a road up to this? God, there's time fall everywhere. This seems doable. The little truck that could. Thank you, gamer, who gave me your truck. You didn't really have a choice in the matter, but thank you. Really saved my ass. Countless times now. Awesome. I'm gonna bring this. Oh, I can't. Is this close enough? To take it off the vehicle? Or do I have to take it all out one by one? Boom! Yeah! Time to put you on the chiral network, bro! I hope you appreciate it, because it took me a lot of fucking effort to get over here. Thank you, Cupid. Thank you. Oh, you must be Sam Bridges. That one-man expedition team. We may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the Great Deliverer. The BT Buster, the terrorist, uh, stopper. <laughs> ah, I'm still working on that last one. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Some epic things. Thanks. You're not gonna even recognize the way station when we're through. Yeah, I wonder if the buildings upgrade. It's awesome. Nice. Sweet, baby! Now what am I up to now? 149! I'm the transporter. I'm- I'm Jason Statham. I'm the transporter. I'm gonna fight the Meg. Your dedication and resolve are really starting to pay dividends. You have reached cargo condition 30. You'll now be able to keep your balance more easily. Sick. Alright. All we need now is to get Jack into the network. Mm -hmm. Alright? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do it! I look like- <laughs> I look like Zoidberg. Get ready for it! Oh, yeah! The <laughs> BB's like, what is happening? And I'm floating twice! Boom! That's a- Big one! Hell yeah! That is such a convoluted fucking mess of how I did all that. Here you go, bud. Also, have you noticed that his dream catcher that, um, Amelie gave him has, like, the tiny little gold thing in the middle of it? I talked about it before, but that's also the same tiny gold thing that Fragile had on her wrist. It's like a little chiral crystal. An armor plate. Non-lethal assault rifle. Then what's the point? The history of the Audra deck. Ooh. Yes. That's so helpful. Man, it sure feels good to be part of the UCA for real. Hell yeah. I've been literally marooned on an island for way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is gonna take some work, but I'm feeling revved up and ready to go like never before. We won't let our country down. Thanks, Sam. Miracle. Good luck out there. 
You too, soldier. Thanks, bro. Good work, Sam. The Hardman. Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Got it. Now would be a damn good time to do it too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Info still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident, and we've got injured in need of assistance. Hmm. Check the delivery terminal for details. You got it, bro. Good work. <sighs> Order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. That feel. That feels so good. That feels so good, bro. Alrighty. Share chip data. Yes. That's a mini little bill. You're a saint, Sam. Thank you. No. Oh, okay, bye. Good luck taking care of your dead baby. The following data can now be viewed via the cufflinks. Reverse strike ride type. Oh! Thank you Wait, did contribution. I just get a new bike? Thank you for your contribution. Let's recycle... I'm still not sure if recycling this stuff means that I get to use it anywhere, or if I should bring it with me and put it in a paver. I'm probably gonna bring it with me and put it in a paver, actually, now that I think about it. That's armor for your shoulders and legs. The downside is that you won't be able to carry cargo on top of it. Mm. You'll have to weigh the pros and cons. Armor, though. Do I really need to bring stuff on my shoulders and stuff? I mean, it is helpful, but I feel like I have a way around that. Armor's awesome. Let's get some and try it out. I just picked up two, right? That's 10 kilos, though. Uh, confirm. No, don't put it on your back. What am I doing? There's a reason I got it. Carry by- uh, touch the suit. Oh man, it looks stupid. I was hoping it would, like, integrate really nicely onto the suit, but it just looks lame. Wait, there's more equipment I can fabricate? Oh yeah, the non-lethal thingy. Handgun level two. Let's make one of those. Oh yeah, the level two handgun can use hematic grounds. Gotcha. Uh, I don't really need a sticky gun. I well, I say that, but I needed one before. Um, let's get two hematic grenade things. Maybe some bridge boots, because I feel like my other ones are going to run out eventually. That should be enough. Uh, attach the boot clip. Attach you on my back. Attach you guys on my back. Got it! We're making strides, lads! Oh wait, I need to take on orders. Might be! Where are we going? Blood delivery. Okay. Okay, I have a time limit of 40 minutes. No problem. I had a time limit of an hour before and it did it in like 15 minutes. I'm fucking good, bro! Remember, Sam, when the clock review your gear and bring Gotcha. I know how to do this, dude! Been kicking ass since the year 1990. Jack guy was born. What up? All right. Who needs this gamer blood? Wait, it's over there? I am all turned around. I have no idea where I am actually facing. Oh, yes, Chiral Network. Thank you for your contribution. Man, I can get to people people to almost 200 likes all on my own now. I'm a pretty big deal. I'm kind of epic like that. Okay, okay. Easy does it. Don't topple. Let me see where I'm going. Oh, right. I'm not actually going back where I came. I'm, I'm heading on. I forgot that he said that I had to do a detour around the whole thing. Oh, 
What is this place? Oh. Time to do my contribution. I know I have 30 minutes, but I feel like that's fine. Come on, Sam! Oh my god, he does not want to turn! Because this fucking ceramics that I have on me is just so big. Okay. Gotcha. Is that all I can do? I thought I had more metal. Guess not. Chiral crystals, here we go. I'm the chiral crystal master. I have so many chiral crystals all the time. I got 79 likes! Wow, I really just did not have that much metal, did I? Okay, get rid of this fucking... Uh, ceramics and put it in the truck. That's way too big to be carrying by hand. It's 320 on its own. Okay, get into the vehicle. Alright, on the road again, Sam! All aboard! I didn't even hit the boost. It did it on its own for some reason. Why are you telling me who's getting likes on things? That's not me. This is a power plant? There's nothing really in it. Ooh! We're going back up into the trees! I haven't seen trees since, like, the first few hours of the game! I miss nature! So much! Wait, where is this going? I'm gonna take you because you're going directly where I'm going and I'll get more likes for that. And I'm- I'm all about the likes. Oh. My truck does not sound too good. I wish I had some special alloys, because I could actually... With some special alloys, I could make a shelter, and then I could actually... ...heal the truck. Also known as repairing. Hopefully it doesn't break down before I get there. Ooh, I see a zip line. Not useful to me though if I'm in the truck. How far away are we? Jesus! All I want to do is see how far away I am. 1200, Jesus. Oh, mules. Okay, I was gonna nullify your ping, but it took fucking forever. Shit. Are they just firing sh- Oh, for fuck's sake! This is what I mean, I'm trying to get the car to go one direction- Oh my god. I was trying to get the car to go right, but it keeps pulling left because it hits the fucking terrain. Get up! I got knocked out. How did I get knocked out so easily? All cargo has been stolen. Fuck my dick. It's bullshit. Oh, thank God. Oh, all my fucking important gear was stolen? Come on, steal the garbage, like ceramics and shit. Wait, I only have four minutes left now? How much time did it take off me? Oh man, I'm gonna have to get the cargo redeployed. This is what I was trying to do the first time, but the car just pulled left on its own. 
Seems same shit's gonna happen again. Eh, eh, eh. Man, it's annoying now that they just have fucking straight up guns. Okay, I need to unlock this. I wonder if I should just run. All my good stuff. Can't put it in the truck from here, can I? Nope. It's too much. How far away am I? 800 meters. Oh my god. This is terrible. Oh my god, what the fuck? I'm turning right! Go right! I'm out. I'm out. Peace, bitches! Leave the truck there. It's only ceramics. I do not want to have to do this mission again. Oh look, it's grass! I'm running slower in it because I have fucking powerful legs. I'm sorry, I'm just- I'm being too sassy. Fuck you. Did I just see another guy over here? Yep. And... No, I hit the fucking tree. For guys with guns, you have terrible aim. Are you guys stormtroopers? Okay, where am I going? Can I even make this? Is this even possible now at this point? I don't think so. So frustrating. I mean, the combat or whatever, getting caught by the guys, that's- that's my bad. But... Sam, we're thinking you ran afoul of a local terrorist cell. Former mules who took a turn for the worse. Oh my god. Stealing cargo doesn't do it for them anymore. Mayhem and destruction are their drugs of choice now. Cool! But you didn't give them the satisfaction. You kept your cargo safe. Sure did. Great work. Thank you. Now shut up and leave me alone. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. The- the most frustrating aspect of that was that my car would not turn the direction I was pointing. I kept pointing right to like get out of that knobbled area in the middle and it was just like, nah, don't feel like it. I'm not gonna make it. It took so much fucking time off me because I got knocked out. I'm so close. I'm assuming that this is it. Yeah. If only I had a speed skeleton on me. I don't know why I'm still trying. Because I'm clearly not going to make it in time. Oh, and there's fucking rocks and stuff I have to climb over. The ones with the gaps in them again. Well, it was a good effort, lads. So much better than last time. I got out of there so easily now. Oh, with 35 minutes left to go. <sighs> I know. Oh, that feels so much better. Truck batteries running out. That's fine. I think boosting drains your stuff way too quickly. So if I just drive like this, it should be fine. 
Thank you. Not just seen the last of them, though. Keep your eyes peeled. Huh? Thank you, Lethal Weapon Man. Oh, baby. If the game just didn't devour my time on the last one, I would have been fine. I would have gotten away and done it the second time, easily. But it had to be a big old bitch. Because I don't mind if if I mess up. Like, driving straight into something that I know I shouldn't. I guess I kind of did that anyway. But when it feels like the game's fighting control away from me, that's when I start getting annoyed. That's when it feels like I just didn't have a fucking chance to begin with. I'm here. Oh my god, can I not actually make it down? Perfect. I made it on the last little sliver of battery. I can take stuff from the... truck from here, right? I'm here! Take your blood! Thank god. I did not want to have to do that again. Thank you so much. Our med team should have no trouble patching them up now. Good. They're a lifesaver. Thank you. I can't believe how fast you hey, watch yourself out there. <laughs> can't believe how fast you were. Oh, buddy, if only you knew the ordeal it took to get here. But you know what? It's awesome, so it doesn't matter. Oh, the bot finishes delivery. What did you get? A C, not bad, passing grade. Wasn't an accident, by the way. It was an attack. Someone slipped explosives into a parcel. Separatist assholes think this land is theirs for the taking. Any one of us could have handled that package. We have to be more careful. Beef up our security. Hmm. At least we didn't lose anyone this time. Thank you, Sam. Really. You're welcome. I, uh... You think the signal's... <sighs> So. It sure is, buddy. I'm gonna hook you up. I'm I'm gonna hook you up. Me and my Cupid. Here we go. Get it. Get it, bro. Here we go. Oh yeah. Get that chirality. Some people online are trying to get likes for virality. I'm trying to get likes for chirality. Boom. Look at my little pinwheel. It's so cute. Got a little dream catcher, got a little pinwheel, got my chiral crystals. That's a big win for the boys. Yes, God, I'm making such great progress now. Assault rifle level two, yes. New entry interview data acquired near death experience. Wait, did I say near death experience or new death experience? Hell yeah. There you go. All right, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Gotcha. Give me a cutscene, bro. Like I said, normally when they make you rest, you get something extra for it. It's cool that if you go down together, it brings the truck with you. The truck is in... Terrible condition. To the person who gave it to me, I'm so sorry. I fucked it up. But it saved me! It's gonna be like brand new when they're done. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. I'm just gonna... Okay. How does he go to sleep with his clothes on, but he wakes up with them off? Oh, beach time. Oh, Christ. Amelie, 
When it comes to people getting stabbed, I can't. Higgs and his people came. They finally reached Echnoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your Kipu, where is it? Kipu is the necklace. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. God, that scene of getting stabbed is so fucked. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Nope. Don't want. No. No more of that, please. <sighs> okay. Well, that was gross. Um, her kipu, the the necklace that she wears, also has dots on it that I think is Morse that translates to uh, "low roar," which is the name of the band for the song. Can I do anything yet? There we go. I want to activate the terminal. I want to see what new data I got. History of the Odredek. Okay. Oh my god. Does the name Sigmund Freud mean anything to you? He was a famous psychologist, the most famous of them all perhaps, but I digress. Freud formulated one of his most famous theories after observing his grandson playing with a spool of thread. The boy would throw the spool under the bed, thus ensuring that he could not see it anymore. He would then wind the thread in his hand, gradually drawing the spool back towards him until it became visible again. He repeated this process several times. It was apparently a game he played whenever his mother was elsewhere. Freud proposed that the process of concealing and rediscovering the spool was a coping mechanism, a way in which the boy could put his mind at ease. You see, the boy was in control of the spool. He could make it disappear and reappear at will. This helped him to comprehend his mother's absence not as something sudden or irrational, but as something controlled and therefore not a cause for concern. A novelist named Franz Kafka later coined a term for this spool of thread, Odredek. Oh, that's a real word? However, he conceived it as an object capable of speech and autonomous movement, a mysterious being neither dead nor alive. The other decks we use are perhaps not so different. These interfaces through which they, we experience our BB's perception of their surroundings are not unlike spools of thread, a connection between our world and the other side, the living and the dead, human and BB. So, okay, now I'm starting to think that all the BBs are dead? Are all the bridge babies dead? Are they ripped from their mothers and killed? just to be in the beach so we can take them from the beach and put them back in our pods? So we're basically summoning them from the beach to our pods? Something like that? Herman's lab. Until relatively recently, death could only be studied from the perspective of an external observer, as the experience of one's own death could not be communicated to another. A collaborative investigation of the phenomenon was funda fundamentally impossible, but through the experimentation of subjects in near-death states and the cataloging of their experiences, we have at last been able to bring the scientific method to bear on this most final of frontiers. I mean, Sam dies and comes back, so just ask him. Even those in a state of so-called brain death exhibit signs of consciousness. What could this possibly mean? Moreover, why do some on the brink of death report out-of-body experiences? Furthermore, why do so many of those who have such experiences describe the same situations of being beckoned towards a distant light? Manny had argued that these commonalities were evidence of an objective reality of a place beyond life. If nothing else, they at least suggested that death was not an instantaneous change of states, but a process. The beach has since proven much of this beyond a doubt, and the dead rising again as BTs through necrosis demonstrates this process in action. The place beyond life is no longer a theoretical possibility, its existence must be taken as incontrovertible fact. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sam experiences it. Um, I'm gonna make him take a shower, so he can, uh, replenish a lot of stuff. Hold on a sec, can I make... Ooh! I can have two batteries! I don't think I can put my grenade pouch on now, though. 
Mm. She don't fit, Captain, but two batteries is very nice. I think I like that more than just having a grenade pouch. Oh, let's change my color scheme as well. Oh, the dark is nice. Ooh, the white is nicer! Yeah. It's such a, like, big change. I like that a lot. Two batteries now, though. Permanently lost. Yeah, whatever. I can make another grenade pouch. Nice! Uh, okay, leave room. Or to give you one additional likes for your ladder. One?! You know that you have like a four second window to give me likes! Alright, this is not tolerated. Should be giving me a million billion likes! Oh, it's Mackles Mickles and Mackles and Mackles Miss time. What did he do? He could have shot them, but he didn't, and then he threatened the BB with the gun, and then he ran at them, so... That seems like a dumb thing to do. God, look how much battery I have! Hey Sam, I have some new info you should hear. All ear holes. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. Okay. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Oh. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire. To start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose. A fact I think someone may have tried to conceal. Judging by the absence of BB-28 service record, I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Okay. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan, off the East Coast. Which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. Yeah, we know that. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, Public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. Whoa. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, Facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything in lightning. Hmm. Weird. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. All the stuff people are using that are mine! Yay! Um... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What if BBs were made in a way that everyone was like, nah. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and 
and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Huh. What do I mean it's tar? Is it just symbolic of like, like BT oil spills and stuff? I can't wait to click into this and then Mama's gonna call me and tell me exactly what I already know. Hey, she didn't. <laughs> I guess because I already have the stuff anyway. Um, think I'm good on stuff. I'm bringing. I'm bringing uh, an assault rifle level two. Uh, where's my assault rifle level one? Can I? Can I recycle that? Because I don't want. I mean, it might be good to have, but whatever. Uh, I'll keep these, why not? I'll, I'll get rid of the resins, though, because the resins I don't use that much. Yeah. Cooley! I also topped up on my septic juice, because I need it. Even though it's more G-Fuel. And I don't know if that's too much caffeine. <laughs> America! Nice. All right, uh, let's deliver lost cargo. Get that emergency fuel out of me, and then let's take on the order, and let's kick it! Let's head out, gamers! I am excited to see more of the story, though. I want- I want that stuff to kick up more and more. Skill transporter. Sweet. Ah, yes, everything's going up. Everything is coming up, Norman. Antimatter bomb delivery. What the fuck? Handle with care, avoid impact. Do not allow this cargo to be dropped or to roll along the ground. Any strong impasse risks- risks destroying the contents. Well. Have you guys heard of Jacksepticeye and how he delivers packages? I'm nothing but humps and bumps. I... <laughs> I fuck shit up all the time. Oh my god. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance travel. Then why did you give it to me? The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered okay. a powerful impact. Reckless drive, any abnormalities detected within the- If it goes off, and if the bomb goes off, the kind we can't- Okay, okay, I'm just gonna put it into the vehicle then. I don't know if the vehicle collisions have the same sort of effect. If any sort- well, I guess we're gonna find out if I hit some tiny humps and bumps. And see if stuff starts exploding. If I explode and die, then we have our answer. Okay, head now. I want one of those! Like a Tesla auto truck. Ah. It's nice being back in the nature areas. Where did I come from? Where did I go? Oh, I came from over that way. Ah, uh, yeah. Over where the dickheads were. But not here. No, sir. Alright, take it nice and slow. We've got this. No explodey bombs for me. Oh. Oh. Oh, you stopped because of the rain. I was like, did I just break my car? Take it easy over these hills. I like how I just go straight for the, the line when really that's not the most efficient way of doing this. Going in a straight line in this game is not how you deliver anything. Oh, no. Fuck. Well, we've got a base of dickheads again. That zipline is not attached to anything. Shit, here they come. 
Okay, it's a little bit red there. Be careful. Yeah, it would be really nice if the auto pavers had the roads done out here, but I don't imagine many people have made it this far into the game yet. Okay, get ready to counter. Perfect! Shit. I mean, I still need to make sure I don't get spotted. Uh, there's a bridge down here that I'm gonna take. Too late! Alright, I'm gonna head out. Terrorist weapons, the shotgun. I just destroyed Mass Mickelson in World War One. I. I think I know how the shotgun works. Fuck. This is a big ass fjord. Oh, it's all shallow though. Good. Oh god, look at my battery already. Damn! Am I going that way? Oh god. Um... Oh, what's the best way to go? This all seems bad. There's a zip line there. I wonder if that- Oh, there's a shelter over there as well. Let's head over here and have a look-see. Thank you for your bridge. I- it, it, Okay, it, it stopped me liking because I got too far ahead. I'm sorry. I could have given you a million billion likes, but I only give you one, even though I complain about other people doing that. <laughs> okay, do I have a PCC? These little shelters are very nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You're getting those fat likes from Big Daddy Jack. Do I. Oh, wrong button. Do I have a PCC? Yes, I am. Let me just- I know my materials are in the truck. I want to see if this is actually connected to anything. By clicking on it, I'll find out. No connecting zip lines, yeah. So if there was one back here, back in the direction I'm facing, it would have been fine, because it would have connected to the one near the base. And now we need one up at the top of the hill, so I guess I'll be the person to bridge that gap. Just like I was to be the person to bridge the gap over the water for the rare mi minerals. I guess I'll go as far as I can. Oh, that was a level 3 safe house. Truck's battery's running out. Damn, I should've just put it in the thing! In the safe room while I was waiting. Oh, somebody's bike! There's a generator up here, though. That's the only reason... Okay. I guess this counts as vibration, because it's telling me a thing. Truck's battery is running out? Oh, is it now? <laughs> um... Okay, let's see if I can connect this from here, because I'm starting to lose line of sight of it. And I just like helping out my fellow gamers. Whoa. Oh, there's one up there. Hell yeah. If I can bring this over here and connect it to that one. It's out of range. Okay, how close do I need to be? Okay. So they have a 300 distance radius. Okay, how far away is that one? 240. Okay, we're well within our limits. Oh wait, no, 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 scan that first. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, this is not in the chiral network, damn it! So I can't build it. That would have been perfect! Ah, uh, dude, you built your thing in the wrong place. So maybe there is actually one that's connected, but you can't see it from here. Because I don't have this place 
I don't have Mountain Knot City actually attached to the, the network yet. Oh my god, can you just get on? Why did you jump over the fucking ladder? Man, they they need to add a thing. When a ladder is upright, you can press square to grab it, but they need to add it for when it's on the ground, because that, that shit gets really frustrating. Your character has so much momentum that sometimes he just falls off it. But yeah, once I hook up the chiral network, there might actually be zip lines the entire way up. Nope, Sam, get in. Oh, brother. There's a couple of little design tweaks I'd make to the game. Just like little button prompts here and there. Okay. 500 meters. But we gotta go the long way around. Okay, thank you, Low Roar. I appreciate your copyright. And I don't want to fringe upon it. Even though the other episodes haven't actually gotten claimed yet, and I'm very happy about that. So please watch them before they do. <laughs> the, the tracks might actually be licensed, though, for the game. Sometimes they do that. Okay, no. See, I'm fucking turning left, but the car just wants to go right. What the hell are these things? Such cool imagery, though. Uh, we're going over there. I am determined. Oh, God. I am determined to bring this fucking car the entire way. Okay, I'm- I'm taking up- I'm getting too many humps and bumps now, though. This might be really- Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a fucking bad idea. This is a bad idea. And I'm still doing it, because I'm determined! This is a bad idea! Lore War, your music is lovely and absolutely glorious to my ears. But right now, we have a bit of a situation going on. Okay, okay, okay. Is that it up there? Okay, easy does it. Easy does it. Nice and easy. Look at this slow little driving. Wow, it's just a little Sunday drive. <gasps> We're heading up into the snow! Oh, Jesus. Is this where I'm going? Hell yeah, we made it, gamers! Oh, be careful. You don't want these last few bumps to be the ones that do you in. Careful, 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 careful. You know what? You know what? Get out. Get out. It's not worth it. Uh, I'll carry it. I'll carry it by hand the rest of the way. It's fucking heavy, boy. Big ass bomberino. Sam. Why did you put it down? I was holding on to it. I never let go of that button. There you go. There you go. Atta boy. Nice! See? You were like, oh, bring it the entire way! Nah. The path you laid down was liked by someone else. Somebody used my ladder. Yay! A path you laid down was used by somebody else. It's so fun! Oh, it's nice to have the servers up! Where I can let- I can really know how much people like me. Wait, why am I delivering a bomb? Why did that not occur to me until just now? I don't know if I'll get as awesome for that one, because I kind of, uh... I kind of jostled it around a small bit. Oh. There's no one here. Displaying performance evaluation. Thank you. This is awesome! Oh yeah, the bots are making deliveries. I see, can I upgrade my bots? Oh hey! The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would have figured that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. 
All right. Enough games, Mom. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves. Thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Mama said something about her. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam. Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. Oh. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochna around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Okay. Find a way. Oh, I thought I said find a way into Lochna's mind. Okay. Um, twin sisters, huh? Also, Lochna and Molingan, 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 are like Scandinavian names. Molingan. Oh yeah, I can't do anything here. Um. Okay, so what now? <laughs> Let me uh, rearrange my cargo. I hate when there's that little gap. Much better. Much better. Let's folly wallies. I'm assuming Mama's gonna call me or something. Whoa. That's dope. Okay, so what do? Need some help here. Anybody want to give me a call, Reno? I'm also going to put my ceramics into this auto paver that's here. Yeah. See, if I drove down here with the bomb that time, oh, there's the ink. Yeah, it is curious as well where they're like, yeah, you guys making the chiral network is like bringing more BTs. The more chirality you make, the worse things get. Oh yeah. Put them all in. Still not enough. But at least they're out of my hair. 104 likes. I have 25,000 likes to my character right now. I never actually realized how many I had. Oh. 
So I don't have to have it, I can just... Oh, I guess other people can just put the materials in, right? And then contribute them all together. Um, what if I get out and walk in the ink? In the tar? What if I pee on the tar? This is what I think about your chiral network. <laughs> I should have some effect on this. The baby's laughing at me. Oh, I can't go first person when I got my dick out? You also can't stare at his penis. If you try and look at it, he turns away. Classic Kojima fashion. As silly as it is, I like that stuff. <laughs> okay, BB. God, can you pee any faster, Sam? Jesus Christ! You got so much in you. You're gonna spell my name. Oh, I wonder if I actually go to a... I wanna test something. There's a mushroom. I'm gonna go to this snow. I want to see if I pee on it, would it actually affect the snow? I want to write my name in the snow. <laughs> this is where video games in the future should go. I'm also going to explore that area up there. There might be something useful. Here we go. Yes! Pee pee time. Oh, yeah. It does! Oh my god, you can melt the snow with your pee. That's insane. That's a crazy level of detail. Oh god, that must feel good. Oh, get it all out, Sam. That's awesome. Oh man, you can't even run through the snow, jeez. Hmm. The snow physics aren't great. I've seen better. <laughs> I've seen better. Still pretty cool, but uh, after you play something like Red Dead 2 and you see the snow deformation of that, you're kind of like, the bar has been set, people. Tools. Can I do anything to these areas? I don't think so. I thought I could hear sound coming from it. This is kind of looking like a hand. Unless you're on the chiral network, I think this is going to get worse for you. Wow, I just really don't know what to do in the game now. Well, I guess I can't go on the chiral network here now and build my little, um... Hey, I got 13 more likes. I can't build my zipline. That's a shame. I'm thinking maybe go back to Mama. Well, that's a long way away. So I went back to the... You remember the shelter that was at the bottom of this area? I went back there because I realized one of the mail... Like, the letter mail was like... Where the fuck is Mama's lab? Can't I just teleport there? No, I need to go to... You can't teleport directly to the lab. I also don't think I've shown off the. Been a while, Sam. It's good to see you. I don't think I've shown off the fast travel in an episode. Remember how to do this? You need to close your eyes and picture your destination. Hawaii. There he go. I don't know if any of that means anything. I don't know if her jacket sticking out means anything, or if the umbrella is something that you definitely need for this. But I think it just looks cool. Also, her Odra deck is awesome.
whoa, there's fireworks going off. It's, it's like bonfire nights here, firework nights in England. There's a lot of them going off. I don't even know if you can hear them. Wait. Nah, I don't think you'd actually be able to hear them over me talking. There's a lot of them, though. Okay, moving on. Zook. <laughs> so cool, though. It's one of the, the cooler fast travel systems I've seen. Because other ones, it's like, oh, you just click on the thing in the map and now you're there. I like how some games actually have an in-game explanation for it. Like, in Red Dead Redemption, you need to go to the carriage areas, and then it takes you on a carriage, like a journey, to that place. I also put, placed all my stuff in my private locker because you can't bring items with you. And I'm still not really sure how private lockers work. Nope, my stuff is not all here. It's in the private locker back at that other area. That's kind of annoying. I guess I should have put it in the shared locker then. Is there anything in here that I could use? Lost cargo. No. Fuck, man. I guess I'm going back there anyway, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Bring this stuff with me for now. Uh, how far away is it? Where is it? Oh, here. 468 meters. Ah, fuck it. Just get a bike or something. I have to go back to that other shelter anyway to get to... Her sister. Oh, I can send my bots out in deliveries. My god, that's a lot of fireworks. Well, you can hear them a lot because I have my window open. Wait, was that delivering something to Mama? I could have just brought that myself. See you later, Bobby. Bobby the bot. And let's see if there's anything in the garage. Oh, my boots are ruined. What? Why are my little booties ruined? I'm gonna take your long range strike if that's okay. You guys good with that? Thank you. Hopefully somebody back at that other safe house can use the truck that I left there. Oh wait! I have no boots on. Where did I- why did I put my boots in the private locker? Oh, I'm such an idiot! <laughs> I'm leaving little footprints now because my feet are wet and sweaty. Sweaty fetus Norman Reedus. <laughs> oh, no, I only need one. God, this menu system is obnoxious. After all the times of playing the game, this is what they tested. This is the best menu system they could have come up with, with for this. Because Metal Gear Solid 5 had the same issue. The menu system in that was kind of just like, ah, it's, it's just visual noise. Oh, some of the notes give you a boost. I didn't know that. Whee! Oh, it's good to be back on a bike again. Why is it all leaning to the left? It's so cinematic. Uh, all right, super close by. I really did not need this. <laughs> Phoebe looks happy. Yeah, because he's flying along at the speed of sound. Phoebe's a fucking daredevil, that's why. Okay, we're here. There's one of the, the letters in my mail in my inventory that said, hey, can you talk to Mama about the bomb? Maybe she might know, and they maybe they can patch things up, so... I was gonna come here anyway, but that was kind of confirmation that that's what I was supposed to do. So, met your sister. She seems nice. Not really. I can see why you don't talk to each other. Wakey, wakey. Hey, Sam. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. 
These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. Whoa! That seems dangerous. I explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void up. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. Damn. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. Weird. So can I not get attacked by BTs now? These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Oh. Cord snipping, super handcuffs. <laughs> right. Let's try them out. Oh. Cut the cord connecting. Oh no. Her baby. Oh, that's sad. She's sound asleep. Make sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. No. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. No. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was alright with it. I mean, <laughs> children... Who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lachna wanted a child. Someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. Break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it. Oh.
take me on the water. Oh, that's sad. Jesus. This game's intense. <laughs> Sam. Burrito time. Would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light, the touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. God, the fireworks going outside are fucking wild. I should close my window. But I don't even know if you guys will be able to pick it up anyway. Alright, let's go, little burrito mama. Hey, all my stuff's on the ground. I gotta put that away first, though. <laughs> She's even got the batteries on her. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I can actually use my carrier. Can I have a carrier on the ground? There you go. And attach the stuff to that. Yeah. Perfect. Does that mean I have to walk all the way, though? Uh oh. I had a special surprise prepped and everything. Uh oh. But it looks to me like your hands are full. It's no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. What you doing, Troy? Boss. Oh my God. Run, Sam, run. Where? Wait, do I not have any hematic grenades? Oh, fuck. Do I wait? Do I not have any in my thing? I do. There we go. Um, I don't have any of the really good- I had so much good shit, I had so many guns and everything and fast traveling here got rid of them all. Oh, Big mama! There we go, that hurt you. Oh fuck. Did that get him? Eat shit! Oh god, where am I supposed to run, mama? Maybe some other gamers can help me out. Okay, I'm out of grenades already. Plenty drop weapons in the crypt and scan the area, okay. A PCC, I don't need a PCC. Is 
there anything? Just keep climbing. Just keep climbing and try and get out of here. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing around. Sorry, mama. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Can I get on the zip line? <laughs> Sticky gun? That's not fucking helpful. Okay, climb. Climb and go. Climb and go. Climb and go. We're not getting hit yet. I'm just gonna try and make it to the zip line and see what happens. What if I pee on it? Will that help? Guys, would it help if I peed? Sam, don't pee right now. I'm gonna pee, guys! I'm gonna do it! <laughs> I'm peeing! Sam, no! Stop! Pee time! <laughs> Hup! Oh my god, I'm so fucking slow. Said, I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to carry your sperm. But tonight, <laughs> I, I don't know. You said sperms, I'm saying assault rifle. Level two. And blood. Yeah, baby. Okay. I'm a. Another assault rifle level two. Okay. Sorry, mama. But. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't see what's happening! Did we just create- Game over. Okay, we created a fucking void out. Cool. Alright, so... Build some weapons before I head out. Gotcha. Well, that's... It's kind of bullshit because the, there's no forewarning for anything. It's like, either go in with the stuff that you had already, and I can't- I can carry less because I have mama on my back. Are you kidding me? You're not even gonna start me... before the cutscene? Okay, well I'm gonna go over here now and hope that somebody gives me weapons again. God, carrying this floater is also a pain in my fucking ass right now. You have laser beams? That feels like cheating. Go, Sam. Oh. You don't even have to fight it? That, that feels a little weird. That you can just avoid it altogether? Okay, 2,500 meters away. Oh man, I wanted to fight it! If you gave me... Man, if I just picked up that gun better... It's because I got caught in the, the thing and then he just kept beating the shit out of me. I didn't realize he could cause a void out though. Okay, I want to go back and get rid of some of this equipment. Because I can't bring the carrier with me. Oh god. Oh god. I can't bring the carrier with me across the zip lines. Oof. It's moments like this where the control scheme gets very tedious. I also don't even have my exoskeleton legs! I didn't know that they couldn't come either! That's kind of bullshit. Alright, I'm placing this stuff in here. And I'm even putting the carrier in there. Just so I have nothing to carry except Mama herself. I kind of want to... 
I wanted to beat him. I kind of want to load the game and just put Mama on the ground somewhere and then just kick the shit out of the monster. Whoa. Whoa, that's the thing from Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, uh, is that why the Timefall shelters look like that? I'm determined to do this. I reloaded my save to before the fight. I have two hematic grenades on my sides and I have a gun equipped too, and I don't actually have to get rid of any gear. That floaty I can leave there though. I'm I'm gonna do this! I'm gonna beat that thing! I can't actually skip the cutscene though, I don't think. Oh I can! <laughs> Alright, you big bitch. Let's see what you got! Are you like this? Not a lot, apparently. Yep. <laughs> yeah, run away, coward. Uh, okay, no, just keep throwing grenades. Ooh, right in the face. I like that. All right, do I have the right ammo equipped for this? Uh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, I do. It says blood on it. I do not have enough ammo, though! Okay, it's time for grenades. Fuck yeah. Big damage, boy! Oh, I didn't mean to swap the body. Uh, Mama's just sitting there like, yeah, this is fine. I also forgot that this takes... It takes blood out of me to fire the bullets. So I need blood bags at the same time. Okay, wait, what cargo do I need to swap? Put this on the tool rack, yeah. I'll put you attached to my suit. Ah, there we go. Can I attach the assault rifle to my suit? No. Shouldn't have done that. There we go. There we go. Why am I holding breath? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Eat shit! Okay, if some other gamer wants to show up and give me a blood bag, that'd be nice. I didn't- I forgot to equip those. Because those bullets are gonna bleed me dry in a second. Go, Sam. Go, Sam. I also have my power skeleton equipped again, which is a uh, big help. Okay, just stay alive, just stay alive. I can't get hit though. Do we have any blood bags? Nope. Okay, he's firing a laser beam. Here we go. Uh, can anybody have anything good? I am out of grenades. Do I have more? Oh, I have more. Yes. Okay, wait for him. Time for some big plays. Oh, perfect. You turn at the right time. What is that? Sticky gun? No, these things suck. I am determined to do this. I'm very low on blood though. And I don't have enough grenades to actually kill him. Any gamers out there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Okay. Well, I'm so close, though. Man, if only if, uh, if only you remember to equip blood bags, I would have been able to beat him with the gun as well. I could go get crypto biotes. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, equip. Fuck me! Get up! I hate that. I hate that you just stumble and then it's like... Hold on! I'll get up! Okay, fucking take two. I'm gonna do this. I'm determined. I'm not running away from a cool boss battle like that. Oh, he's almost dead! He's almost dead and I'm still at full health. Let's go, gamers! Where is he? Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah! Eat shit! <laughs> Let it be known that Jacksepticeye doesn't back down from a fight. Bye bye! Bye bye! Oh, thank God. Thanks for that. Thank you! That was amazing, Sam. Thank you. I don't know how you managed to pull that off. Uh, lots of planning. If only we all had your talents. <laughs> my God, so many chiral crystals. Hell yes! Get them all, Sam! That's awesome! Fuck yeah. That felt good. Why are you making those noises? 1700 crystals. 1800 now. Oh my god. Thank you. I don't know how you give each other stuff in battle. Like how was how was that determined? Um I can carry you tool rack. Oh, but the other one's on the tool rack as well. Place and utility pouch. Yep. Oh. oh. I can carry you on my back as well. Um, okay, well I'll just carry one assault rifle then. Oh wait, no! These are used up. I, I still don't think I can bring this. I can carry it in hand. Well, it was one that a player gave to me anyway, and it's not something that I'm gonna lose materials over, so... I don't really mind. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. That was intense. I was determined not to let that piece of shit bring me down. I'm so glad that I beat him. I'm so glad that I reloaded my saves and went back and, and did it properly because that was very satisfying. I had four sets of hematic grenades, so I, I threw 20 of them at him and then went through two magazines of blood bullets. That's a lot, and I had three blood bags on me. Or maybe four. Sweet Jesus. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode. Don't forget to leave a like if you think that that was sick! And don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see more Death Stranding content, because it's going to keep coming at you hard and fast, like Cleopatra. That's not how that saying goes. Okay, wave bye-bye, Mama! Over here! That's my send-off. <laughs>